Hey guys, I just got back from the Mi Home Store in Suntech City where I bought the Mi Powerbank Pro. And here it is. Um, let me unbox it, I guess. Uh, it's got a USB to um, USB-C thing. But there's an adapter here. Okay, it's micro SD to to you SBC. Hmm. Okay. And then there's a white label here at the top. Okay, exposes the ports. Sticky. Um. Okay. Guess that means no charge. It's got ten thousand written in the bottom. I, I felt it in the store, so um, it's no surprise. There's a caution sticker here. I'm just going to peel it off. So it came with a six-month warranty. Local only. They pointed out. So And they told me it can charge into and out of the same USB-C. So yeah, I hope to be able to charge my USB-C um, MacBook Pro from it. And, and the space gray, same as that. Right, just to prove to you that the power bank actually works, here I am connecting it up. And it's charging. So this is the Mi Home Store, the Xiaomi store in Suntech City. It wasn't easy to find, it's on the second floor. Right, I'm just looking at the power banks on offer. Didn't, this one's just pretty ugly, but this is the one that interests me, the, the Pro the USB-C, the rest of them had like micro USB connectors um, there's a whole range of products there, this one's like a big mouse mat um, I kid you not, what do you call that, the cigarette lighter to USB thing, my wife was remarking how, how pretty it was um, much better looking than the one that I have for the next one I'm going to buy is definitely USB-C, USB-C all the things don't know what that's supposed to be, some sort of candy jar uh, piece of plastic molding. These bags interest me. They're like a backpack and um, a dry bag in one. Um, that's quite cool. But on closer inspection, it's just like one seam there at the bottom. It's, it's, it didn't seem worth the time and effort. Not so they had the TVs there. Um, they weren't OLED, so I wasn't really interested. They have a curved one and a flat one pretty unremarkable I couldn't quite work out if they were smart or not I'm definitely anti smart TVs I'm also anti that bar Ugh. this is me checking if my voice recording was working from my my headphones it was but I can tell you I'll, I'll show you a sample right at the end the recording was awful in that noisy environment this is the show me uh, rice cooker very unimpressive to be honest completely unremarkable maybe I'm missing something guys you tell me right this is some sort of heart rate monitor thing I didn't quite understand that sort of cradle thing weird uh, here's another heart rate monitor thing with a display and didn't seem to be working this thing some sort of mood lamp didn't really figure out what it was to be honest no idea why you would want one of those um, well, this is the show me laptop. Um, I don't know what model it was. It felt cheap. Um, the keyboard felt okay, but otherwise it just kind of felt very plasticky. Uh, had a USB-C port there, by the way, and a USB and a HDMI port and a headphone jack. Um, I don't know. Um, oh, it had NVIDIA inside. I was quite amazed to see that. I think uh, it wasn't touchscreen the display by the way as far as I could tell <sighs> I don't know it just really depends on the price I wasn't really impressed by the screen either but I'm a bit like you know spoiled depends here I'm price, looking really. at a extremely good MacBook Pro screen right now so I have one of those things already uh, the scale things bane of my life uh, this lamp seems quite nicely well designed. Um, I like how you can't really see the individual LEDs. Um, I quite like this one. This is something I might actually buy. 
uh, depending on price. So the shop assistant told me that they do focus on the phones here, but to be honest, I not, really don't know the range very well and find it very confusing. You know what? You know what's what's what? What's cheap? What's the premier? What's the generation we're at at the moment? What's the previous generation? But the the big stand they had there for the Redmi 3S, two hundred dollars. That's cheap. Okay, the final sample featuring a very awful AirPod recording. We've gone for that clean Apple look, but with the brown boxes. 